Salake Mwenyezi Mungu Bwana Yesu asifiwe ni siku jema asubuhi ya leo ambao ni siku yake Mwenyezi Mungu katika maisha yetu na wasalim katika jina la Bwana Yesu Kristo Bwana Yesu asifiwe naamini ya kwamba Mungu amekulinda Mungu amekuwa pamoja nawe katika kila njambo na siku ya leo tunamshukuru Mungu ni kwa neema zake kwa hivyo nakukaribisha katika ibada ya leo ili Mungu akaweze kunena nawe ningependa tuombe Baba katika jina la Yesu Kristo wewe ni Mungu mkuu Mungu ambaye unatosha katika maisha yetu Toa mbele zako kama kanisa kwa utakazo ili ukatukubali Wakati kama huu tuendapo kusikia neno lako Mwenyezi Mungu naomba ili ukanene na njia ya kipekeni kwa ajili ya maisha yetu Tubariki na ukatuinue kupitia kwa neno lako Na ni katika jina la Yesu Kristo tumeomba. Amen. Amen. Bwana Yesu asifiwe. In the book of Psalms 46. Psalms 46 verse 5 to 11. Tasoma katika jina la Yesu. Psalms 46 verse 5 to 11. The Bible says, God is in the city and it will never be destroyed. At hurry down, he will come to its aid. Verse 6. Nations are terrified. Kingdoms are shaken. God thunders and the earth dissolves. Verse 7. The Lord Almighty is with us. The God of Jacob is our refuge. Come and see what the Lord has done. See what amazing things he has done on earth. Verse 9. He stops war and all over the world. He breaks bows, destroys spear, and sets shield on the fire. Verse 10. Stop fighting, he says, and know that I am God, supreme among the nation, supreme over the world. Verse 11. The Lord Almighty is with us. The God of Jacob is our refuge. Bwana Yesu asifiwe. Praise God. Ile neno Mwenyezi Mungu amenipa ili tukaweze kuongea siku ya leo it is that you are a winner wake up and walk in faith. You are a winner wake up walk in faith. Bwana Yesu asifiwe. In these Psalms, Psalms 46, the book of Psalms, this Psalms was composed after David had, def had defeated his enemy. The author of Psalms 46, 47, and 48 was Prophet 
Isaiah, Bwana Yesu asifiwe. It was written during the reign of Jehoshaphat when enemies of Moab, Ammon, and Edom came against Israel. It was the offspring of Lot, the place where Lot decided to go after separating with Abraham. Bwana Yesu asifiwe. So they were neighbors to Israel and descendants of Esau, and they had conflict frequently with them. Kwa hivyo tunapoangalia, tutanzame kizazi cha Esau. They were neighbors to this tribe of Israel. Na Biblia inasema walikuwa na mikwarusano. Na wakati kama huu, tunaposoma ina watopic Psalm 46. Psalm 46, it reminds us that if we are filled with the Spirit of God, we cannot fail in this life. Bwana Yesu asifiwe. You are a winner. Wake up, walk in faith. Number one, God is in your city. Don't fear. Bwana Yesu asifiwe. When you read Psalms 46 verse 1, the Bible says, God is our shelter and strength, always led, ready to help in times of trouble. Bwana Yesu asifiwe. Israel had good foundation. Unapoangalia mtumishi wa Mungu Musa alipoitwa na Mungu ni kwa ajili ya wana wa Israeli kuwatoa katika nchi ya utumwa. Biblia inasema kuna ile misingi aliweka ndani yao kana kwamba they should depend on God. Bwana Yesu asifiwe. Walipoitwa kuenda nchi ya Canaan. Most of them they realized that it is their time not now to go and possess the land. Walikuwa ni yao ili waenda wakapokea mashamba. So they had lost their vision and the, that's why tunaona 40 days they were wandering in desert. Bwana Yesu asifiwe. Lakini katika matokeo yao kutoka mahali pale, Biblia inatuambia ya kwamba they come out as a winner. They were conquerors. Bwana Yesu asifiwe. They conquered the work of the devil, and they possessed the land. Nandiposa tunaona hapa, tunaposoma, diyo Moab attacked them. Na wakati kama huu, wakati Isaia alikuwa anawaandikia, Biblia inasema, these people, they independent of God. Walipo mtumainia buwana, verse 5, God is in the city, and it will never be destroyed. Buwana Yesu asifiwe. Walijua hata katika mateso Mungu yuko ni kwa ajili yao. Mpendo wacha ni kuambie siku ya leo. Mungu alipokuokoa. Alipomtuma Yesu Kristo akafa ni kwa ajili yako. Kuna ile misingi aliweka ndani yako. Neno la Mungu ndio ile misingi, ndio ile mbengu iliwekwa ndani yako ili ukaweze kukua ndani yake Mwenyezi Mungu that you may depend on God. In the name of Jesus Christ, Bwana Yesu asifiwe. In the God is in the city, and it will never be destroyed. Bwana Yesu asifiwe. Mpendo nataka ukaelewa kwamba. It doesn't matter what the world says against you. It doesn't matter which kind of a report the world is giving you. God is seeing you as a winner in a time like this, time of pandemic, time of the wakati ambao mambo ya meinuka na kuwa milima mbele yako. Mungu ananena na kusema, you are a winner in the name of Jesus Christ. I want to encourage you that God is in you. God is in your home. God is in your feelings. Bwana Yesu asifiwe. No one to destroy it. For God is the one who is leading you. Our city, our nation will never be destroyed by this disaster of pandemic in the name of Jesus Christ. Bwana Yesu asifiwe. It is the will of God for you to live. It is the will of God to stay healthy. Devil will never attack you in the name of Jesus Christ. Bwana Yesu asifiwe. 
unapoangalia wana wa Israeli walimtumainia Mungu na wakasema liwe liwalo Mungu ni yeye kimbilio letu hatutawaishindwa na haya maisha maana tumemuona Mungu akitutoa mbali katika maisha yetu mpendo ni wakati wako ukasimame na ukatembea kwa imani na ukajua ya kwamba I was born to win Mungu akiwa upande wangu sitaongopa kamwe Bwana Yesu asifiwe Number two, God is with you. This is now your turn to shine. God is with you. This is your time to turn. Bwana Yesu asifiwe. How God's presence is among his people giving them protection. Ukombozi wa Mungu uko ni kwa ajili yako. Ukombozi wa Mungu uko ni kwa ajili ya maisha yako. Unahitaji kutembea na imani. Unahitaji kumtumainia Mungu. Unavaa kujitabiria wewe ni nani ndani yake Mwenyezi Mungu. Wana wa Israeli wakaona hatutakaa hapa tena. Tutaishi hatutafahamiwa na maandui maana tunaye mtetezi aliye hai Mungu wetu. Bwana Yesu asifiwe. It doesn't matter. Haijalishi uko katika hali gani iwe ni mangonjwa iwe ni mateso iwe ni kupoteza tumaini iwe ni kupoteza kazi Mungu yuko nawe in the book of Matthew chapter 5 verse 14 the bible says you are the light of the world you are the light of the world Jesus here is meaning the light of life Auko katika ngiza tena. Auko katika mahali ya kuangamia pale. Auko mahali pa kusumiwa na yule mwovu shetani. You are the light of the world. You are there to shine for Jesus. Uko hapa ili ukamtangaze Mungu anayeweza. Uko hapa ili ukatangaze Mungu anayeponya maisha yako. Uko hapa ili ukatangaze Mungu anayeponya ndoa yako. God is there to rescue your life. God is there to rescue your children. Bwana Yesu asifiwe. In the book of Romans 13:2. Romans 13 chapter first 12. The Bible says, Paul says, you were formerly darkness, but now you are light in the world. You were formerly darkness but now you are light in the world so you are a winner you cannot be defeated by the enemy Bwana Yesu asifiwe kwa hivyo wapendwa tunapokaa katika wakati huu mungumu wakati ambao tunaona milima hii milima because you, we are the light of the world itaenda kuyayuka katika jina la Yesu kila jambo ambao inasimama kama mlima na kutisha maisha yako na kusema hautaendelea utaendelea katika jina la Yesu Kristo maana yuko aliye hai ambao ni kiongozi wako Mwenyezi Mungu Bwana Yesu asifiwe this is your turn in the book of John 5 verse 1 to 9 in the book of John Unapotanzama in the book of John Jesus was from Sica where he met a Samaritan woman and Jesus will with the full of anointing now Jesus is here in Bethsaida The man in Bethsaida used to witness having the miracle people having the miracle day after the other for that day for that he good years mwanaume akakaa pale akiwa anaumwa akiwa ana nguvu yoyote katika mwili wake anakaa pale ameshuhudia kuona watu wakiponywa anashuhudia kuona miujiza inateteka lakini biblia inasema 
Yesu akatokea mahali pale. In the book of John 5 verse 1, the Bible says, After this, Jesus went to Jerusalem, a religious festival, near the sheep gate in Jerusalem. There is a pool with five porches. In Hebrew, it is called Bethsaida. Verse 3, a large crowd of sick people were lying in the porches. The blind, the lame, and the paralyzed. A man was there who had paralyzed for 38 good years. Bwana Yesu asifiwe. Mwanaume akakaa pale akiwa ana tumaini lolote katika maisha yake. Lakini mpendwa ningetaka kukwambia siku ya leo, God is with you. It is your turn now. Today it is your turn, not tomorrow. Bwana Yesu asifiwe. Wakati Yesu aliingia in Jerusalem na akapata watu wamepangwa laini kila mtu na design yake kila mtu na ugonjwa wake wakiwa mahali pale Yesu alipotazama na kuangalia huyu mgonjwa the bible says Jesus was there na unapoangalia verse 5 it says a man was there who had been healed for that eight years. Jesus saw him lying there, and he knew that the man had be healed for a such long time. So he asked him, do you want to get well? The sick man answered, sir, I have no one here to put me in the pool. Bwana Yesu asifiwe. Yani sina mutu wakunibeba. It doesn't matter siku ya leo. Naongea na mtu wako katika hali ngumu. Sijui naongea na mtu wako katika hali gani. Biblia inatuelezea waziwasi. Watu walikuwa wamepangwa. Kila mtu na ugonjwa wake. Sijui wewe umepangwa namna gani. Sijui wewe shetani amekufixi namna gani. Sijui hilo linakusumbua unaliita namna gani. Sijui unasema mimi ni mtu wa aina gani? Sijui wewe unasema mimi ni mtu wa kifua. Mimi ni mtu wa kuumwa na mgongo. Sijui unasema namna gani. But today nimekuja na habari yako kana kwamba Jesus is here. You are a winner in the name of Jesus. Haina haja ya kukaa pale tena. Haina haja ya kukomplain kana kwamba hujawahi pata ndakitari wa kutibu ungojwa wako ni wakati wako ukamtazame Yesu ukajue Jesus died for you that you may be saved Bwana Yesu asifiwe Au kuumbwa ili ukateseke mpendwa Au kuumbwa ili ukalie katika maisha yako yote For good that 8 years mtu akakuwa pale pale lakini siku moja Mungu akanena ni kwa ajili ya maisha yake. Nataka kukwambia siku ya leo. Mungu ataenda kunena ni kwa ajili yako. Siku ya leo, Mungu ataenda kukutembelea. It doesn't matter uko wapi. What matters ni Mungu atakupata wapi. Bwana Yesu asifiwe. Najua ya kwamba tulikuwa na three good months tukiwa nyumbani ili tukamwabudie Mungu mahali pale. Wakati ulikuwa pale ili mizani yake Mwenyezi Mungu ikapitie kwako uka, Mungu akatambue unaishi namna gani ndani yake Bwana Yesu asifiwe Maybe wengine walitoatoa wali sandaka wakashindwa Wengine waliita familia zao wakaomba pamoja ikafikia mahali waka lose hope Wengine walitanzamia corona ishuke bali ikaendelea kupanda juu na waka lose hope siku ya leo mpendwa nataka kukutangazia kana kwamba ili ndazi ni mata nini unasikia katika masikio yako ili ndazi ni mata nini unaona katika macho yako what you are supposed to see is the god the house and perfecter of your faith bwana yesu asifiwe this is now your turn it is your turn to shine Umeshuhudia 
Watu wakitoa ushuhuda. Umeshuhudia watu wakifungua manyumba. Umeshuhudia watu wakiendesha magari zao. It is your turn mpendwa. Kwake Mungu hakuna njambo ngumu. Mambo kwake Mungu yanawezekana katika jina la Yesu. God is with you. It is your turn in Jesus name. Miaka ya mateso katika maisha yako itaisha katika jina la Yesu. Matezo katika ndoa yako wacha ikayayuke katika jina la Yesu Kristo. Pokea baraka zake Mwenyezi Mungu. Weep not again. Have faith and know that you are a winner in the name of Jesus Christ. Mungu akusaidie sana. Mungu akakuinue. Unapofikiria na uketi chini, ukaone ni kweli Mungu amenitoa wapi? Na kwa sababu Mungu amenitoa umbali huu, ni kwa nini aniache? Siku ya leo nataka kukutambiria kana kwamba Mungu ataenda kukuacha, Mungu ataenda kutembea nawe. It doesn't matter itakuwa namna gani. You will survive in the name of Jesus Christ. Because you are a winner. Number three. First ten. The Bible says, Psalms 46, verse 10 to 11. Stop fighting, he says, and know that I am God, supreme among the nation, supreme over the world. The Lord Almighty is with us. The God of Jacob is our refuge. Bwana Yesu asifiwe. God is our refuge. Affliction will never raise again in your life. Najua katika haya maisha ambao tunakaa ni maisha ambao Mungu alituweka katika hii dunia. Na alipo tuumba, alijua tutapitia majaribu, na alijua tutashinda. Yesu Kristo alimuweka katika hii dunia, hakajua atakuwa na ata experience, maisha ya kawa mangumu, lakini akapata ushindi. That is now the way. Mwana Yesu asifiwe. Iyo ndiyo njia, maana mungu alituweka hapa duniani, tukaishi na tukawe washindi katika jina la Yesu Kristo. When you read in the book of Jeremiah 29, verse 11, the plans that God has for us, it is a good plans for our future. It is not plans to harm us. Mwana Yesu asifiwe. Kwa hivyo ile mipango ambao mungu wako nayo, ni kwa ajili ya maisha yako, ni mipango ambao ni ya ushindi. Mwana Yesu asifiwe. Na diposa siku ya leo na kwambia, Mpendwa njipe nguvu ukijua ya kwamba wewe ni mshindi. Hauko pale ili ukaweze kushindwa. Maana mungu ni mshindi ndani yako. In the book of Mark 3. Mark chapter 3. We are going to read verse 3 and 5. Mark chapter 3. Let us read verse 1, 3, and 5. The Bible says, Then Jesus went back to the synagogue where there was a man who had paralyzed hands. Hands. Verse 3. Jesus said to the man, Come up here to the front. Verse 5. Jesus was hungry. He looked around the man, them. But at the same time, he left. Sorry for them, because they were so stubborn and wrong. Then he said to the man, stretch out your hands. He stretched it out, and it became well again. Mwana Yesu asifiwe. Yesu alipo ingia katika sinagogi. Biblia inasema, these were people, they were understanding. Walikuwa wanamwambia, aina maana, uingie na kuponya mutu siku kama hii ya sabato. 
Lakini Yesu kuna maswali aliwauliza. When you see verse 2 inasema some people they verse 2 some people they were who wanted to accuse Jesus of doing wrong. So they watched him closely to see whether he would heal the man on the servant. Bwana Yesu asifiwe. Na katika hali hiyo watu kuangalia na kuwa awaoni. Biblia inasema Yesu aliwaangalia na akaona si vizuri maana it is time to save it is not time to look person ili akaweze kuangamia Bwana Yesu asifiwe. Na kwa hivyo unaposoma Biblia inasema the man with a paralyzed hand Bible says Jesus went back in the synagogue to teach. Aimu yake ilikuwa akafunze watu wake neno lake Mwenyezi Mungu. Lakini mahali pale kuna mtu Mungu alikuwa amemuandaa ni kwa ajili ya muujiza wake. Kuna mtu mahali pale Mungu alikuwa amemuandaa ni kwa ajili ya ushindi katika maisha yake. Imagine mtu kuwa mkono mmoja umekufa. Paralyzed aezi inua chochote lakini kwa sababu aliona usaidizi wake utapatikana mahali pale in the synagogue Yesu alipoingia pale Biblia inasema alimtambua na akiwa katikati ya watu akamuita na akamwambia njoo hapa mbele stretch your hand na akapona Bwana Yesu asifiwe that is now the life we are living today. Hiyo ndio ile maisha Mungu ambao anatutakia ili tukaweze kukaa katika hayo maisha. Jesus said to the man, "Come in front." Mungu anakuita katikati ya watu, anakwambia simama hata unapotanzama in the book of Revelation chapter 4 verse 1 to 3. Johanna anaambiwa na Mungu, "Mali umekaa, simama ili nikaweze kunena nawe." Mungu ananena nawe Mkristo na kukwambia ya kwamba ni kweli mambo ni magumu katika hii dunia. When you see this pandemic is holding the whole world, holding the economy of the world, and we are here to celebrate God. We are here ili tukamtambue Mungu na tukamwambie atuna Mungu mwingine maana ni wewe ambaye unashughulikia maisha yetu Bwana Yesu asifiwe Huyu mgonjwa the paralyzed man akujua kana kwamba atapokea uponyaji na siku ya leo ningependa kukutangazia kana kwamba it doesn't matter wewe unafikiria nini maybe unaona Hauna tumaini katika maisha yako lakini pokea tumaini katika jina la Yesu Kristo Whatever the enemy has plans wherever whatever the enemy has plans to strike you whether through jobless confusion situation Jesus will strike now in the name of Jesus Christ Andaa moyo wako ili ukapokea Yesu Kristo. Andaa moyo wako ili ukamwambie Mungu ni wewe unayejuana na maisha yangu. Majirani hawatambui maisha yangu. Serikali haitambui maisha yangu. President atambui maisha yangu. Ni wewe Mungu peke yako unayetambua maisha yangu. Ni wewe unajua kilio changu na ninakuhitaji ili ukaninguze katika china la Yesu Kristo affliction will never arise in your life again in Jesus name nataka ukatambue wewe ni nani wewe ni mshindi and God, God is your refuge in the name of Jesus devil will be disappointed in Jesus name ya kupokea baraka zako katika jina la Yesu neema ya kushinda hii corona katika jina la Yesu neema ya kuinua biashara yako neema ya kutambulikana katika kazi yako neema ya kuinuliwa kiwango ingine katika jina la Yesu I don't care because I am not under protection of the devil but I care because 
I am under the protection of God in the name of Jesus Christ. Kwa hivyo ni wakati wako ukafunge masikio ni kwa ajili ya kusikiliza sauti za yule mwovu shetani ili ukaweze kuishi katika jina la Yesu Kristo. Bwana Yesu asifiwe. So what matters in my life it was what God says upon my life that I am a winner. Bwana Yesu asifiwe. Taka ukajue ya kwamba ninapomalizia mpendwa damu ya Yesu peke yake inatosha. May you speak the blood of Jesus Christ upon your life. May you speak the blood of Jesus Christ upon your children, upon your nation in the name of Jesus Christ and you will live in the name of Jesus. Kwa hivyo tujue Mungu anatushughulikia. Tunapoishi tuelewe kana kwamba Mungu alijua this pandemic itakuja wakati wetu na tutashinda na tutainuliwa na Mungu atazidi kuwa pamoja nasi. Kwa hivyo Mungu atubariki sana. Taka ukiwa mahali hapo umeketi ukafunge tu macho yako ukamwambie Mungu akakushughulikia ambia Mungu akutane na maisha yako na unapoendelea na kuomba na kumuita Mungu toa sandaka yako toa fungu lako la kumi ukamwambie Mungu tu akanene ni kwa ajili ya maisha yako ili ndazi ndi mata ni madhabahu gani yaliyowekwa tumeona watu waliwekewa madhabahu ya mangonjwa Watu waliwekewa madhambao ya mateso, wetu watu wengine hata waliwekewa madhambao ya divorce na wengine hata kutkataliwa mpaka wamekataliwa hata na watoto wao. Kwa hivyo ni wakati wako ili ukasimame kinyume na yule mwovu shetani ni kwa ajili ya maisha yako. In the name of Jesus, let us pray. Baba katika jina la Yesu Kristo, wewe ni Mungu mkuu, Mungu ambaye ni mshindi. Neno lako limetufunza siku ya leo we are winner oh mighty father we feel and we are going to walk in faith tukijua ya kwamba baba wewe ndiwe unayetushughulikia katika jina la Yesu Kristo ninaomba ni kwa ajili ya kanisa lako ninaomba ni kwa ajili ya yeyote anayenisikiliza wakati kama huu katika jina la Yesu na atilia nguvu yako na atilia uwepo wako ni kwa ajili ya watu wako sasa katika jina la Yesu kila madhabahu yanayojiinua kinyume na maisha yao na yakemea katika jina la Yesu kila madhabahu ya mangonjwa yanayojiinua ni kwa ajili ya kanisa lako na ikemea katika jina la Yesu Kristo maroa ya kujituma hayana mamlaka ni kwa ajili ya maisha yako pokea ushindi katika jina la Yesu Sande Mwenyezi Mungu maana unatujali. Sande Mwenyezi Mungu maana unatuongoza. Tuzidi kuombea inji yetu ya Kenya mwana wa Mungu ili ukazidi kutawala. Sande maana wewe utaleta suluhu ni kwa ajili ya nyakati kama hizi. Wakati huu Mwenyezi Mungu tunakutanzamia ili ukaweze kunena ni kwa ajili ya maisha yetu. Sande mwana wa Mungu ni kwa sababu wewe umetenda makuu. Pokea sifa. Naomba ni kwa ajili ya sandaka ambao tutaenda kukutolea Jehova zipokee katika jina la Yesu na ukatubariki ni kwa sababu wewe ni Mungu mkuu tubariki na ukatuinue na ukatulinde na ni katika jina la Yesu Kristo tumeomba amen amen may god bless you
Oh, yeah,